been on the road, it seems like, on these Wednesdays. Um, so I'm glad to be back, and um, thank you all for joining us uh, on our weekly Wednesday Facebook Lives. One, one, month, one week this month, we're going to get Dr. Kittles and Dr. Hooker, who are, who are our scientific team, uh, to come do a Facebook Live for you guys so you can get the science from the real scientists. You don't have to get my interpretation of the science. So look for that in the upcoming weeks. Uh, so I said I've been on the road. Last month I was in St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri, right around the time where they were protesting um, the verdict. Uh, that police officer, unfortunately, that unfortunate verdict. But it was great to be in St. Louis. I was at the Central Library of the St. Louis Public Library, and I did a talk on what's in your DNA and how you can use DNA to better understand your identity. You know, you know that's my topic. Um, and a lot of people came out for that. I want to shout out Faye Page Edwards and Victor Edwards for helping out, as well as one of my longtime college friends, uh, Lynn Taylor. She represented as well. It was a really good afternoon. I, I had only been to St. Louis, Louis once. It's a really nice city. We were able to sit up some hotel somewhere and look at the arch and look at the river. It was really very nice, but I want to thank the St. Louis Library for having us out. Um, for that event. And then last week, I was on the Capital Jazz Super Cruise. And uh, that's an event we do every year. Uh, the cruise left from New York. I didn't leave from New York. I flew and met them in Bermuda, uh, where I met another friend that I've had for a while now, Laverne Richardson. I want to say hey to Laverne. Thank you so much, Laverne. She took me all around that most beautiful island of Bermuda. I learned a lot about the history. I saw this beautiful uh, Ethiopian Orthodox church. I learned a lot about her personal family history. I had some delicious food. Did you all know that they make these fish sandwiches in Bermuda uh, that are on raisin bread? Sounds weird, right? It is the most delicious thing you'll ever taste. That mixture of sweet and savory was to die for. And then, of course, the Bermuda rum. Yeah, that was good. Anyway, enough about Bermuda. I was on the cruise because I do a workshop every year. And this year, we revealed the ancestries of two comedians. We revealed the ancestries of Mark Curry and comedian Tommy Davidson. And they were a blast. We, we had so much fun with those two guys. I have to be honest, I was a little nervous the last comedian I revealed didn't take the information very seriously, um, so I was a little nervous, but when we told Tommy Davidson that he shares ancestry with the Mende people living in Sierra Leone and that they were rice farmers, he said, you know, I do have an Uncle Ben, so um, they had some lighthearted and smart jokes. Mark Curry shares ancestry with the Chikar people of Cameroon, which of course makes perfect sense as the T-Car are the artists and the artisans of the community. And so I want to thank both of them for participating and, and for having a reveal in front of a room, a, a room full of strangers. You know, we take for granted that celebrities are going to be down and that they don't mind sharing their experiences. And for the most part, they don't. But this is, this is very powerful information. And um, it's a very special experience, and so we're always grateful when people across the board, celebrities, non-celebrities, kids, old folks, millennials, whoever you are, when you allow us to share your ancestry journey with the public, um, it's a great thing. And I want to thank everybody who's been posting videos about their African ancestry experience. Those are so helpful to people. They call here every day. And when we ask how they heard about us, they tell us they saw a video on YouTube. So that's what you're doing when you're sharing your experience. You're helping us with marketing. We don't have millions of dollars to buy ads on TV and so or on the radio. And so we rely on you to help us spread the word. That, that's how we do. 
And so um, if you haven't yet already uh, posted about your experience, I'd love for you to consider doing that. And even if you want to send it to us, we'd be happy to post it for you. So shout out to the Capital Jazz Super Cruise. We saw DJ Kemet um, on the cruise. He made one of our Spotify uh, playlists a little while ago. And uh, that was a good time with him and his wife, Aisha. And then another African Ancestry family member, uh, Eric Roberson was there. Jodine Dorsey was there. A lot of people that we've tested in the past. So. Uh, that was a good time. But now I'm back at work. It's October. We're grinding. Um, if you were on the cruise and you're checking out our Facebook Live, I want to remind you that you're, you've you got some emails in your inbox with a special offer uh, because you joined us, our experience on the cruise. So be sure to uh, look, look out for that. October is National Heart Arts and Humanities Month. And so um, you're going to be seeing stuff on Facebook about people in our African ancestry family who are artists and people who are, what was it, what did they say the definition of humanities was? Uh, the study of how people process and document the human experience. And you know, that's what we're doing. This is a very real part of the human experience of the African American, the, the person of black descent's human experience. And so um, we're, we're happy to share the arts and humanities with you this month. People like Maya Angelou, Quincy Jones, um, Erica Badu. If you're on our page, you see that video of Erica Badu finding out her ancestry and her experience with the Bamaleke people up at the top of our um, page. So be sure to check that out. Um, comedian Anthony Anderson, the list goes on of people whose ancestries we've traced and who've been positively impacted by this work. Another person who is near and dear to my my professional and personal heart is Sangu Jikam. He's a member of the African ancestry family, and he's a, a writer and playwright. I'm, did I say writer and playwright? Yes, I did. He's an actor and playwright, and his play, Sinking Ink, is premiering in New York this month. It opens on Sunday, and um, we are so excited. We're, go we're going up to New York, road trip. So everybody who's in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Philly, shoot, if you want to come from D.C., let's go. We're going up for an, an afternoon with African Ancestry at Sinking Inc. on October 14th. And Sinking Inc. is a play that he wrote uh, after having traced his ancestry and based on his love of hip-hop, and it's, it's the intersection of hip-hop and the ancestors, and it is really powerful. We saw the premiere of it in Houston, and it's, it's amazing work. It's, it's a real hip-hop musical theater experience, okay, about us for us. Again, you know that's how we do at African Ancestry. So, um, Stay tuned on Facebook for details about that. We're trying to sell out that show. We've got a special discount for African Ancestry at the afternoon. The tickets are, are significantly reduced. I would love to meet you. I would love for you to meet Sangu. And um, I would love for you to have the experience of his play. And we're going to get him on Facebook Live next week. Uh, we're going to do something creative. He's like, I don't want to just sit there and have an interview, Gina. So he's got something creative brewing in his uh, in his mind. So don't you don't want to miss that. And then let's see. I'm not really I'm not traveling much for African ancestry in October so far. It's not too late though. My calendar is open. So if you want me to come to your city, do a presentation for your organization or your school, your church your uh, community group, your library. I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. Where do you want me to come? I'll come. And we, whenever we come into a city, we offer a special discount on test kits. Uh, it, it can be a really fun experience, and I would be happy to join you in your city. So just let us know. You can leave us a note in the comments. You can reach out to Nicole Taylor. Uh, she handles our, our outreach. And uh, I'll come to where you are in October. On October 25th, 28th, we're going to be doing an 
an interview with Celebrate Africa TV. And so my DMV family members, I'm going to be calling on you. I need some of you to come with me. So uh, if you're interested in being interviewed on a TV show about your African ancestry experience and you live in the DMV, again, hit us up on Facebook. Let us know. I'll give you a call and uh, ske schedule you along with me for that interview on October 28th. Um, it's October and the holidays are coming and I know that they're not here yet, but you know that the timeline for our results is anywhere from six to eight weeks. And so if you're going to do this testing as a gift for your family for the holidays, now's the time to get the kit and send it back to us. If you get us your um, swabs back by October 18th then you'll have your results in time for the holidays. Now think about this. I don't know how much you spend on holiday gifts, but you can get one test kit and then the results will be the same for so many people in your family. If you do the maternal test, then that you've got gifts for your kids, you've got gifts for your brothers and sisters, your nieces and nephews, your mom, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, one test. You can give everybody a certificate. What better gift is there than the gift of knowing where you're from? I can't think of one. So you should consider that. Um, or if you don't want to do the test in advance, you want to give it to somebody else in the family as a gift, you can get the kit. There you have your Christmas shopping or your Kwanzaa shopping or your Hanukkah. Whatever you celebrate, you can get that um, that shopping done. So if you want to have the results by October, by uh, the holidays, then you need to order your kit and get your swabs back in the next couple of weeks, okay? Uh, what else do I have for you? Oh, you know, our Uber Face Live producer, Ty Brooks, has been curating uh, playlists every month on Spotify. And so this month she's doing one for the arts and humanities. I don't know how she's going to do that because every – Every artist is an artist. <laughs> Every song, uh, I don't know. But she claims she's going to do it and that you all can start listening to it on October 9th. That's Monday. So be on the lookout for that. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the online community. So when you take a test with African Ancestry, um, you then become a member of the African Ancestry family. And we have an African Ancestry online community. For the past... 10, 12 years, however long we've had it. It's been hosted on a, on a separate software program. People have gone in. It's exclusive. You have to be a member to join the online community. We decided this month to bring it over to Facebook. So now the African Ancestry online community is on Facebook as a closed group. And I want to encourage all of you who are family members who haven't gone into the community to try it out now. I'm telling you, it's been two days, and I swear to God, we have like 150 people, and there are 150 uh, pictures of people's certificates. In fact, one, one family member, Lamar Tyler, he was like, it feels like a family reunion up in here. Like everybody was just excited to be talking to other people. I have to admit, I'm not a huge Facebook user. So I was like, oh man, are people really going to use it? But you guys are on Facebook. So welcome. Welcome to the African Ancestry online community. Please use it. It's a resource for information. The African Ancestry Guide to Histories and Cultures is there. We're going to be doing special Facebook lives just for you guys. Um, it's easy for you to talk to other people. People are sharing resources about their travels, about their studies, about their networks and the connections they're making, what they're learning. So I encourage you, if you've never looked at it before, it's right here on Facebook now. You don't have an excuse. But there's one thing. You have to have your kid ID number, and we need your email. Because we're not just letting anybody in on this group. You have to be a member of the African Ancestry family. And the only way we know that is if you have your kid ID number. It's on your letter. So um, you can use that. If you can't find it, call the office. But we don't want to get in trouble with Facebook for sending out too many messages. So please make sure you find your kid ID number before you join, um, before you ask for permission to join the, the um, 
online community in the Facebook group. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, I don't see any questions. Oh, wait, Quincy. Ah, oh, Quincy, you said your 93-year-old mom wants your, her DNA pull. What you waiting for, Quincy? Let's go. We would love to, to trace Mary Cherry's um, ancestry. And Kelly in our office says shout out to Mary Cherry. So she's ready to find her ancestry. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. Anything else, Uber producer? No? All right. Well, until next week, please tune in next week. We're going to have a lot of fun with Sangu Chikam. Sinking Inc. If you're in New York, you've got to check it out. It's at the Fleet Theater. We'll have some posts about it, and uh, you can start preparing your calendar so that you can meet us there on October 14th. Take care.